Are you worried about the artificial intelligence revolution and where it might lead? Many people are, but we shouldn't be, according to medical experts. They say AI will solve the health crisis and there's every chance it will save your life sometime very soon. The future has arrived. Absolute game changer. At Melbourne's St Vincent's Hospital, Dr Helen Fraser is leading a study into using artificial intelligence to read mammograms and detect breast cancer. Artificial intelligence in breast cancer screening can truly save lives by improving on the accuracy of the test and detecting cancer early before it spreads outside the breast where survival is almost perfect. AI radiologists could be just the stars. They're talking things like digital twins, so a copy of yourself in the cloud that has your DNA structure and you can expose it to chemicals, you can expose it to treatments and you can see how your digital twin behaves. Cyber expert Bastian Treptel. Imagine a doctor that has access to the latest studies, it read them the second they came out. I would want that doctor. It used to be the case that for any task you wanted a robot to do, you really had to program it to do that specific task. Professor John Whittle from the CSIRO says we may even see robots performing surgeries by themselves. The robots watch and when they've seen enough imitations they can actually do it themselves, so it's kind of training by imitation. Recently in Melbourne, thousands of health and tech professionals gathered for an expo focusing on AI in medicine. Dr Simon Cross, Chief Medical Officer at Microsoft Australia. It has enormous potential for both good and bad. We need to responsibly figure out how it applies to the healthcare context and make sure we use it responsibly. Jordan Lawrence from Liebird Health. Their program listens to doctors' consultations, providing answers for patients faster. You can do your consultation, face the patient, and then it will generate you notes and letters um, into your EMR, so you don't have to do any paperwork afterwards. Scripto AI founder Julian Corvin says artificial intelligence will help fix our healthcare crisis. We have a workforce shortage in allied health in Australia and this will help those clinicians manage their caseload and increase their face-to-face -face patient time while reducing their reporting burden. I certainly don't think we're going to be putting doctors out of work though or teachers out of work and certainly not in 10 years. If you look at the impact of AI in industry right now, we're still very much at the beginning of the journey. From medicine to menial tasks, how about AI robots that could do almost anything? Well, they're no longer confined to science fiction. For less than 20,000 US dollars, you can have a robot in your home. While artificial intelligence will be a force for good, deep fakes are already wreaking havoc. Anyone can be cloned within seconds. We can get you to say things that you've never said. Doctors have been deep faked and people trust doctors. They go and buy this medication and it's bad for them, for example. Even Donald Trump gave himself a papal makeover while fake photos surfaced online of NRLW player Jamie Chapman. So how will we know what and who to trust? How do our viewers know if we're speaking with the real Professor Whittle? Oh, well, there, there has been a clone of my voice. I was 95% convinced that it was me, but I knew something wasn't quite right. I can tell you, though, that my kids in the back of the car, they were 100% convinced it was me. At the CSIRO, they're working on AI-controlled robots, including some they sent to space. You can imagine astronauts floating around the space station and they can give commands to this little robot who can do things on their behalf. Imagine having a digital version of you that is just as clever as you, knows your job just as well as you do, and perhaps at times it can step in for you instead of you going to work. It's a bit frightening. It is. For now, perhaps the biggest change in our lives, generative AI programs like ChatGPT and Gemini, where the sky's the limit. 
managing personal finance, for example. You can upload bank statements to ChatGPT and you can ask it to summarize all the different categories that you spend in and come up with a budget so that you can actually reduce your spending and help you save up for a mortgage and things like that. We're at the forefront of, of AI in healthcare and that's because we're a data-rich specialty and data is the fuel for artificial intelligence developments. Yeah, it's a brave new world, all right, as long as we can use it for good and not evil. And the AI revolution has begun. It is only just the beginning.